secret agent, K-7, returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Within recent months, many besieged and threatened nations have placed orders for aeroplanes with the world's great manufacturers. The story which I bring you now concerns itself with the placing of such an order and the attempt made by a master spy to prevent it from reaching the factory and being filled. If the spy had succeeded, he would have served the nation for which he worked by delaying the delivery of the planes for many months and by supplying the plans for one of the world's latest type bombing planes. John Holbrook introduces the story. Thank you, K-7. A special courier was sent deep into Asia with the plans for a new type bombing plane. He began his return trip with the plans and an order for three million dollars worth of the bombers. Our story opens as he boards a great trans-Asiatic express for a 3,000-mile journey by rail. Thank you. Just leave my bags there. I'll put them away. Thank you, monsieur. Did you see him? Yes, master. He has the plans and the order with him. He carries them in an oilskin pouch. Tonight, get them. Cured them? Here, Master. Good. You will leave the train at the next station. Stop here. One minute, monsieur. And I've got to send a telegram. Wait for me. Take this message and send it to the address on this paper. Agent Z. Plans and order have been stolen. Thief still on train. Was advised before leaving to contact you in case of emergency. If possible, fly and board train. Get that out at once. Here's your money. Throughout a long, hot day, the train sped onward across flat desert country. 
then night again. And a second day. Then a stop. All right, Pat. I've got our bags. Get aboard. We'll go to my compartment, Conductor. Yes, Monsieur. us getting aboard. Probably. And what's the next move? Then? I want you to stay here. The man who wired me doesn't know what I look like. He was acting under instructions. I'm going through the train and see if I can locate him. There probably aren't many Americans on the train. Will you let him know who you are? No. As soon as I find him, I'll come and get you. I want you to talk with him, not me. I don't want to be seen with him. Wait here until I come back. from my compartment. I'm in the wrong car, I guess. Uh, that's quite all right, miss. Why, well, you're an American. <laughs> so am I. I haven't seen you on the train before. Yeah, won't you come in? Uh, thank you. And now that the door is closed, I might as well tell you, I uh, didn't blunder in here. I came on purpose. Because I want to talk to you, Mr. Stewart. Well, who are you? My name is Patricia Norwood. I am the assistant of Special Agent Z. Z and I caught the train early this morning. Well, then Special Agent Z is here. Please, Mr. Stewart, not so loud. I pretended I came in here by accident because I didn't want anyone to hear me talking to you. Well, if Z is on the train, I've got to talk with him. He is here, but he doesn't want to be seen with either you or me. Now, uh, I want to ask you some questions. When you wired us, were you sure whoever stole your plans and the order was still on the train? Uh, he's still aboard. None of the first-class passengers have left. Well, how are you carrying the papers? In an oilskin pouch. It's locked in my bag. How long have you been in the East? Uh, nearly 12 years now. I worked for an American firm at first, then for two or three others. I made my present connection last year. Selling airplanes in this part of the world is dangerous. Have you ever had any trouble before? Have you ever been followed or watched? Uh, yes, of course. I haven't moved for two years without the agents of one country or another watching me. I see. Have you recognized anyone on this train? There's one man who... Well, no. No, I haven't seen anyone I know. You started to say that you'd seen one man. Well, I didn't mean it. It was a slip of the tongue. I haven't seen anyone. How do you expect us to help you get your papers back unless you're willing to be honest and tell us everything you know? I've told you everything. The plans and order were stolen. They're still on the train. That's, that's all I know. All right, Mr. Stewart. That's all you'll tell me? Stay here in your compartment. Z or I will get in touch with you. That's all for now. I'm leaving. What did you find out, Pat? Oh, oh Z, you, you frightened me. I've been waiting here in your compartment for you to come back. What did he tell you? Well, not much. Z, he's frightened. Yes? He's afraid of someone. He he started to tell me that he'd seen a man on this train, and then he stopped and refused to talk. I think I understand that. I've seen someone, too. Unless I'm mistaken, he started to tell you the doctor... Did you hear those shots? Yes, come on. Look, Stuart's compartment door is open. Hot, he's been shot. Let me in there. Oh. Who uh, shot you, Stuart? The, the man with the yellow face. Oh. He's gone, Pat. Oh, there's the gun on the floor to the right. Yes. What is the meaning of this? Who is that man there on the floor? Who are you? I am the police, miss. You are both under arrest for murder. You can't arrest us. Pat, don't talk. But I... We're innocent. I don't know who you are or what you intend doing with us, but we're ready. Walk ahead of me. 
I shall be forced to rock both of you in your compartment until we reach our destination. Forty-eight hours later, the crack express pulled into its eastern terminal, a great seaport city. As it came to a stop, Agent Z and Pat stepped to the platform. The man who arrested them was directly behind. My car will be waiting. You will walk quietly to it. I have a gun in my pocket. If you attempt to run... Dr. I... Matsui, you are under arrest. Put your hands over your head while I search you. Case seven. I wondered if you'd get my wire in time. Well, what does it mean, Z? Pat, this man is Dr. Matsui, one of the world's most dangerous international spies. I recognized him on the train. He planned to murder Stewart and arrest us for the crime. He wired ahead to have a Confederate meet him here. I bribed the man in the telegraph office and got his wire before it was sent out. And then I sent a message to K-7 and explained the whole plot. But he said he was of the police. Well, he only posed as a member of the police. He probably showed forged credentials to the conductor on the train. And the man who is searching him now is really a policeman? The man who is searching him is my friend, the famous K-7. Dr. Matsui was carrying the airplane plans and the orders for $3 million in bombers on his person. He was turned over to the local police at once and convicted on the civil charge of murder. He had been a master spy since the days before the World War and had worked for almost every nation except his own. It was fitting that his career should end in a country he had betrayed many times. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. Mm-hmm.